Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Kevin Hudash. I'm a D1 basketball coach, and today we're going to be breaking down Mikel Bridges and his recent 45-point game for the Brooklyn Nets versus the Miami Heat. It's one of his first games with the Nets, so he hasn't really learned their offense yet. He's just out there playing. He's just out there hooping. Um, so this channel, it's called Hoop for Hoopers. Um, you know, this isn't House of Highlights. This is Hoop for Hoopers. We're not looking at slam dunks and half-court buzzer beaters. You know, we want to see the, the small things that make these great players uh, tick. You know, whether it be a great set, some great footwork, you know, great move, whatever it is. So let, let's start right now. Mikel Bridges, 45 points. Here he is. He's on an island with Jimmy Butler. Let's see how he gets to the basket. Between... Okay, he's going right for a little bully move floater. So let's watch it again. One dribble left between. Look at that jab. That little jab is what gets him here. Jimmy Butler actually plays really good defense. And you can see over here, Miami's going to be helping from the baseline. So there's nothing here for him. If he gets here, it's probably going to be a mid-range pull-up going on left. That Jimmy will do a great job contesting. Jimmy actually sends the middle where he's got help. But this is what happens when you have Spencer Dinwiddie, Cam Johnson, Finney Smith all on the same team is you're going to have some space. So Mikel picks his spot, bully move, gets full extension, really good floater, really good floater. So that's his first two points of the game, first two points of the game. Here we go, second time. Here he is in the weak corner. And this is really, you know, this is why he gets $90 million. You know, every, every coach in the country is telling their guys you want to get paid. This is where to make it. So you can see they get a little switch here. It's really a dirty screen, to be honest, by Ben Simmons. Probably could have been a charge. Way to play off two feet. Left-hand pass from Ben Simmons. That's just too easy for Mikel Bridges. And look at him pointing at his team. You know, he's really, he's really feeling himself. Uh, really unlocked him. So let's see. This looks like a, a set play. You know, very simple three-man game. Uh, a lot of teams will run this with Ben Simmons. Have Ben Simmons... Bring up the ball. It could be Draymond Green. could be, you know, anyone that fits that role. What you're looking is you're looking to get the switch. So Miami doesn't want to switch that one. Now, Max Struess is late getting to this. Now he's got a switch, right? So now he gets Jimmy Butler off him. He's going to get on an island. And this is really Mikel's, you know, this is his bread and butter, to be honest. So let's see what it is. Gets a switch between push cross Really hard right to left, right left pull up. Boom. He really likes that ball in his left hand for the for the midi pull up. That's his bread and butter. So now he's really feeling himself. We're still in the first quarter here, folks. Okay, recognize this play. Right? Same play. This time they get the initial switch. Okay. Now they're gonna get the second switch. So Miami switching one through five here. And what do you know? Mikel Bridges. Pull up going left. Watch it again. One, two, three. Really hard last dribble. The harder you put it down, the harder it's going to come up. Get it right into your shooting pocket. Full extension over the high reaching contest. This is all in the first quarter. We're still in the first quarter here. Okay. So now we're in transition. And you'll see a lot of teams, this is how they defend Giannis. Watch Miami Heat. They're actually one of the best teams at it. That's why they have so much why the Bucks have so much trouble against them, is freeze. You got, they are building a wall here, right? Ben Simmons, there's nowhere to go. You want to go left, right here. You want to go right, right here. You want to go down. You got help coming here, coming here. So what the wings really need to do is Seth Curry needs to get to this corner, and they got to fill these wings, and this is a perfect 45-degree cut by Mikel Bridges. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure who's watching this video right now, but it, it, you know, if you're not a freak athlete, you're probably going to have trouble getting all the way to the basket from where he catches it. So really impressive stuff by Mikel on this one. All right, second quarter, you know, towards halftime now. So he's kind of quieted down. Looks like a set play for Mikel coming off. All right, and one. Let's see how he gets it. So let's see how they defend him. He's in the corner. Okay, they're going under. Under, under, right? So Mikel has shot, shot, shot. But what a lot of people don't realize is when you go, if someone, when someone goes under you, you know, a lot of non-shooters, you might be dealing with this. If they're going under on you, you turn that corner, get downhill. Now Mikel's going left. We know he could make this pull-up jump shot right now, but he thinks he can get to the rim on the smaller defender. 
He's got Seth Curry here, so he knows Jimmy Butler is going to have to fake and deny, right? Jimmy Butler fake. He's got to deny Seth Curry. Now, how does he get the foul? So this is a you know something that a lot of big men use to their advantage. So it's cool to see him using it as a driver. Is driving left to right. If you shoot over your right shoulder, that's your inside shoulder, and at the right time, you're going to get that foul call, right? Because the defender is attached to you. So once he feels that bump, he knows, okay, all I have to do is go up. This ref's right here. My right shoulder, my right elbow is going to hit him in the chest. It's going to affect my shot. So I'm going to get the foul. And, you know, the finish is just, that's just being, you know, a potential future NBA All-Star. Here we are, end of the second half, right after that last bucket. Okay, I think we've seen this play before, right? Get the switch. Get the switch again. And what do you know? Pull up going left to right. Or right to left, I mean. I might have got that mixed up in the last cut. Right to left. Pull up. Same same concept here, right? He gets he gets a switch. He's got space here. He's not really wanting to shoot off the bound for three. You know, if he can, he's going to drive the ball. And he drives it right at his hit. Once he gets him to open up, he knows I got you. All I have to do is pull up. And he gets the foul there. Now he actually gets the foul on the release, not on the... Uh, that's a tough call. He must have got him on the way up. Tough call. All right, second half. I don't know how many he's got now. Okay, again, if you're a high school hooper and you're watching this, this guy right here is making $90 million. $90 million. He is, there's four red shirts in the paint, and he's still crashing the glass. He's, he, you know, he has no business going for this rebound, um, but... He just does his job. His job is, hey, who's on me, right? Whether it's him or him, Bam's probably got to check him. So he goes, and if you're a freak athlete, you know, that, that, that'll also get you paid. That's called 3 and D and, and then some. Okay, set play, a little Spanish ball screen, right? So a lot of teams run this. It, it's a read. You know, this is – they're probably running this because Mikel just got on the team. They don't have any plays. Hey, Let's just run a little Spain action. So let me show you how it works. He's going to screen him, right? He's got to help on him while he gets onto the ball. Mikel is supposed to screen the back of Bam so that it's two-on-one, usually gets up in a lob. But what Miami does, which is creative, and not a lot of teams can do it. Probably Bam is one of the only centers that can do it. They're going to switch the whole thing, right? So they switch this, and they're going to switch that. But what Nick Claxton realizes is right here he says, oh, they're going to switch it one through five. Well, instead of Mikel screening my man, I'm going to screen my own man, right? If they're going to switch this out, then it's his responsibility to switch out on him. So if Nick Clax screens his own man, you get a little three, and then Mikel reads it. What side is he going on? He's going on the inside. That means I'm going to outcut. He's got a lot. That's too much space for Mikel Bridges right there. That's just... That's not going to get the job done. So really good defense and better offense. That's all that is. Okay, we're at the end of the third quarter. You know, At this point, he's having a game, right? Everybody in the gym knows, wow, I can't believe Brooklyn's in this game. We thought they were going to suck. They just lost Kevin Durant. So everybody knows, Mikkel, he's having a game. Same play as the first half, right? Ben Simmons on the ball. We're going to stagger away. This time... Miami is locking and trailing, right? Instead of going under, under, they're locking and trailing. So there's, there's less there. Mikel reads it. He thinks Max might have to switch out on him, so I'm going to slip it, right? Slip, nothing there. He gets out to his corner. Okay, wow. All right, so this is a Villanova concept, all right? I want everyone to watch this very carefully. You think really good baseline drive, you know, simple layup. Now, let me slow it down for you. This is what Villanova calls a jab and rip, okay? So he's going to go left foot down, jab, rip across his body, and then keeping his left foot down, you can't pick your left foot up until you dribble. He's going to dribble, see? On that dribble, he's going to rip baseline. And what it does is watch Max Schuster's closeout, right? It's perfect, it's perfect. Ooh, he just gets his foot right here with that jab, and then... Let me play off two feet, which is a Villanova staple, okay? So that is Villanova concepts at its best. That's why Josh Hart, 
Jalen Brunson, you know, all these Villanova guys, not to DiVincenzo, they're all doing so well in the NBA with some basic, basic, basic footwork. So real hoopers could appreciate that one. I, I thought that was a really tough bucket. All right, here we are. We're at the end of the third quarter. And, you know, same thing. Sim simple move here. Okay, so now this is a jab and rip the other way. Jab, right foot pivot. So all, all the any high school hooper watching this, even college hoopers, make sure you're working on both pivot feet, right? So depending on how he reacts, he could just swing and go base on, right? But instead, outside foot, he's going to swing and rip. He doesn't really swing. He sort of jab and rip. Now, like we said earlier, he's driving. Once he gets his reach, real simple. You know, that's, that's veteran NBA stuff. You might not get that call at this level or at high school or college level. All right, again, if you're not a freak athlete, I don't have to tell you. It, you might not be able to. Oh, this is the last cut. You got a full court heave catch, right? There's not really much to it. That's just, you know, heady play, right? Ball, where, where's he at? He starts, let's see, he starts, here he is at half court, he sees 2.7 seconds, I'm going to take off, Ben Simmons knows exactly where he's going to be, kind of Christian Leitner spot, he gets a little, you know, fadeaway jumper, that's two extra points, right, that's the difference between 43 and 45 for him on this game, alright, let's see what we have here, alright, so this is called like, you know, pistol action, a lot of people call it, it's really just two people involved in this one, so it's just a step up ball screen. And what he's doing is he's getting Spencer Dinwiddie, Duncan Robinson. You know, he's not getting this to get the switch for him. He's doing it for the ball handler because he's unselfish. And he sets a good enough screen. Duncan Robinson says, I'll take some of this. They switch. And he realizes, okay, fine. Spencer, you're going to give me the ball? Well, then I'll, I'll go to work. So this is another Villanova concept. They work on posting their guards up. Right, and he's patient. Right, if if he if he throws his shoulder into him, this is knowing your scouting report. Right, second bump, he's going down. Right, so there's one, here's two, here's three, flop, lay it up. Right, if he steps forward, and look, you can tell even guys on the Miami bench they know, they know that's not a foul. Look, not one person stands up and asks for the foul. Spo calls timeout. Okay. We got to change something up or we're going to lose this game. All right, now Mikel's on ball halfway through the fourth quarter. He's got Jimmy Butler on an island. Hard left to right cross. Really tough basket, right? This is when you're just feeling it. No passes. And honestly, this is Kevin Durant-esque. I'm not saying Mikel Bridges is Kevin Durant, but watch this long crossover. It really reminds you of Kevin Durant, right? Boom. Hard right to left, left to right cross. He gets a step on him, and like I said, when you're driving left, you can really get, you can really get that foul when they reach in. That's just insane. All right, obviously he's gonna be a miss here. He gets the ball. This is the next possession. Up six, another little pistol action, right? Now this is this is great offense. Really great offense by, by the Brooklyn Nets. This is called playing fast or slow, right? We got a miss. We're pushing it. We're going to get, look, Duncan Robinson's on me. Don't worry, Mikel. I'll put him on you. But Duncan doesn't want to switch, so I'm going to turn the corner. They're going to help off you in the weak corner. I'm unselfish. I'm playing mm -hmm. off two feet. I'm not leaving my feet to make this pass. I'm going to hit the corner. They, Miami's going to rotate, right? Rotate. Next guy, rotate. Next guy, rotate. Mikel's going to get out. He's got to help. I mean, that's just really, really good offense. And honestly, a really good effort by Miami, too. But not good enough um, in that case. All right, here we go. We have a little elbow action. Mikel's in the weak corner. Turn the corner, gets to the rim. All right, so watch this. Mikel Bridges, now why on earth would you ever step inside this three-point line? So this is something that Jimmy Butler needs to know. But again, Jimmy Butler might have played 48 minutes in this game. So he could be tired, and that could be why they're picking on him. 
But Mikel knows I'm getting a screen over here, right? So instead of running off the screen around the three-point line, if I move in a little, you know, I'm going to get the screen is going to be a little tighter too. So watch him creep in. Watch him. He's creeping. He's creeping, right? So now instead of starting the three on the three-point line, he's starting at this logo right here. That means Jimmy Butler's on the lane line. So Jimmy Butler's going to get screened at the elbow instead of, you know, the slot area. Which means if he's locking and trailing and I and I curl this, I'm catching the ball at the free throw line. And at, at that point, if Mikel Bridges is catching the ball right here, he's probably getting to the rim. Here we are. This is like, again, the next possession. He's, he's really going off here in the fourth quarter. All right, this is a little three-man game action. A lot of slips. So this is, they're attacking, they're attacking Miami's uh, switching defense, right? So switch. Right? If you're going to switch this, really a bad switch. They don't have to switch this. This is lazy. So they switch that, and then he's going to get out of there and slip it. So he thinks, look, aren't we switching everything? But bam, you know, he's not used to guarding in that situation. He slips out of it knowing, okay, I think they're trying to get – they all wanted to get back to theirs. Bam should have took him. He should have stayed here. He should have stepped up here. They messed it up, right? So now Mikel Bridges has Bam on him. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is a charge. That's a charge. So, really, you see, now you can see the bench is reacting. This, that's a charge. But Mikel keeps playing. Catch the ball in the corner. Make you pay. So, really, honestly, that's on the refs. That was a charge, but Mikel is going to make the most of it. He's playing through the whistle. All right, here's our favorite play, right? This is that Spain ball screen, and they read it in the first Right, Miami knows it's coming. Switch, right? So they actually pre-switch this, right? Miami knows he's coming out here and he's going to roll. So they're going to say, bam, just stay low. Nate Claxton's not popping, right? He's going to roll. So he's going to roll right into you. And Mikel Bridges is going to end up out here. So why don't I say hi, right? So really smart, pre-switch, switch it again. And now they know he's screening his own man, right? We already saw this earlier. So he gets out of it. So Miami guards it really well, but what do you do when, you know, your play breaks down and you have no offense? You go to your go-to move, man. Driving left, pull up, really doesn't even get a good hard dribble to pick up on. He sort of jump stops into a pull up, you know, really impressive shot. But that's why you got to have a go-to. You got to have an end of clock move. You, you need to know what you're going to. And Mikel is absolutely going to his, his pull up going left. All right, game's pretty much over at this point. And what do you know? This is why you get paid big money. Not only are you a 3 and D, but there, it's a 12-point game. You're in the weak corner. You're a shooter. All he wants is, hey, pass me the ball. I'll shoot this. No, he sees the back of his man's head, catches him sleeping, and he gets a dunk. Really impressive stuff by McCobridge. So, guys, again, this is Hoops for Hoopers. I hope everybody enjoyed it. More videos to come. Uh, let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, more to come. Thanks.